alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. This is a quote from Helen Keller. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. This is a quote from Michael Jordan. And finally, a quote from Henry Ford. Coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is success. Uh, there seems to be a great belief in a number of benefits we can get from being a part of a team or a group, but it also seems to be one of the more frustrating things people do in their lives. People seem to have had as many bad experiences working as a group as they have had good ones. But the benefits of being on a good team, uh, that feeling of winning or accomplishing a goal that you know you couldn't have achieved without the help of your teammates, this all um, keeps us striving to make our teams more satisfying to team members and keeps us striving to achieve ever more a challenge, challenging goals. In this course, we will look at successful teams and strive to emulate them. To do this, we have to analyze what is going on amongst the team members and the primary activity that is going on in small group communication is communication. That is what's happening on successful teams, a lot of communication. Members of successful teams not only communicate a lot, but they develop their own words for key team issues or activities. They develop kind of a shared meaning of not only the project itself, but the ideas of success and commitment and responsibility. They appreciate and value the unique talents of each other. Um, competition sort of takes a back seat to cooperation and attaining the goal. Successful teams understand the value of process, and they delay committing to a solution or a final product too early. Successful team members, at the end, they feel satisfied and valued. In this course, we'll use the words team and small group kind of interchangeably. Uh, you'll both study small groups in action, and you'll be a part of a small group. You'll contribute to that group, reflect upon it over the next six weeks. In the communication program, we teach an online speech course. Um, just think about that for a minute, an online speech course. So you might be asking yourself, do students actually give speeches? Is there an audience? Do they review each other's speeches? The answer to those questions is yes. Yes, they do. Um, it's challenging, but it can be done with the right software and the right attitude. So you might be thinking the same of a small group communication course. You might be thinking, well, we surely won't be able to do a group project and analyze our group process like we would in a traditional class because we're not all going to be in the classroom together. But you can do it and you will do it. Uh, virtual groups are a reality, and um, some of you are probably already experiencing this in your work. And in this course, you'll be a part of one. Uh, you'll have a project to work on. You'll have a group of four people to work on it with. You'll get group grades for portions of the course. You'll have a discussion forum area that will be restricted to your group members where you will document the process of your project, ask me questions, and kind of get clues about how your group process will work. In week one, the group project is explained for you, along with assignments related to it for each week throughout the rest of the course. So it's all listed there for you, what you will do as an individual in a group throughout the whole course. That way you can look ahead and see what's going to be happening and what you need to prepare for. Take a look at all the materials provided. Um, ask questions for clarification often and get started communicating with your group members and establishing the norms of your group as soon as you can. Um, one side note, I need to point out that we have a student in the course that isn't normally in this group, and that's Colleen. Welcome, Colleen. Uh, sorry to single you out, but Colleen is gra a graduating senior who needs this one last course to graduate, which is awesome. 
Um, Colleen, much like most of you, um, she's already out there working full time. So she has a lot of real life work situations to bring to your discussions and to your project work. So please welcome Colleen to our group. Um, my only re regret is that um, she'll only be with us for this one course because she's a super addition. Now, uh, in the spirit of Henry Ford, we have come together. Now let's start working together towards success.